what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new hello my name is Vivian and if you're old thank you so much for coming back so today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and it is um, a Valentine inspired tutorial Valentine is in a couple of days and I thought to write to do a tutorial um, featuring this look I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did while filming it I actually love the way the look came out um, if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't leave a comment down below on your thoughts and suggestions and I'll definitely check that out thank you guys so much for watching bye guys and God bless you hey guys so the first thing I'm going to be doing is to prime my eyelids and I'm using the max soft ochre and i'm going to be setting my eyelids with a translucent powder next i'm going to be taking this color from my morphe 35c palette and this is going to be my transition color and this is also going to ensure all other eyeshadows stay put and blend perfectly well next i'm going to be taking this dark pink color from the same palette and this is going directly into my crease and i'm using a sigma e40 blending brush to do this run the amount baby i say run the amount let me know how you really feel so run me you know i got a special spot to help you remember me then i'm going for that to blend the colors really well with a less tapered blending brush right like electric bob so every next i'm going to be taking my nyx jumbo pencil in milk and i'm just going to be applying this directly on my mobile lid and that's just to ensure the next eyeshadow we're going to apply to pop really well Next, I'm going for that to blend with my finger. Say tonight you can call my phone. Moving to the star of the show, I'm going to be taking this purple from my 35C palette as well. And guys, this palette is very affordable and every shadow in it is very pigmented. And I'm just going to be applying this on my mobile lid directly on top of where we um, applied our NYX Jumbo Pencil. And with the help of the white base, we get a more vibrant color payoff. And then I'm going to be blending the purple into the pink. That is the crease color. Then I'm also going to be taking this color from the same palette and I'm just going to be using that to blend every color together. And after that, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and my inner tear duct. I know I got a special spot to help you remember me And every time you leave this spot you know I get to see oh, She's bright like electric bob so everybody gets to see Moving to eyeliner I'm going to be using my very good old trusty Inglots eyeliner in the number 77 And I'm using uh, my Inglots eyeliner brush to do this I'll leave the name in my description bar And after that I'm going to be applying mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic telescopic for slash mascara. We don't die young. So tonight just go all the way with me. Then for falses, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty lashes in the name Scarlet. And then I'm, after that, I'm going to be applying my blemish control on my pimples slash black spot slash acne scarring. And after that, I'm going to be priming my skin and I'm using my Nivea my Nivea Men aftershave balm and I'm just going to you know distribute this all over my face still baby don't die young say tonight you can call my phone tonight you can call me all night long tonight the rep is next I'm going to be color correcting and I'm using the orange shade from my max conceal and corrector palette and after that I'm taking a little break just because commercial I'm going to be going back to color correcting I'm just you know under my eyes around my mouth area and just on my spots and then I'm moving to foundation and for foundation I'm using my Revlon 
color stay foundation in the name cappuccino and this foundation is a drugstore foundation and it's really amazing and i'm just you know distributing this all over my face and you know around my hairline and all that jazz and after that i'm going to be highlighting my face and i'm using my nars radiant creamy concealer i'll leave the shade in my description bar and i mixed it with my max prolonged Oh, and I mixed it with my Max Prolong Wear Concealer in the shade NC45. And I have a drugstore foundation routine on my channel. I'm going to leave the link in my description bar. And I also have a full foundation routine as well on my channel. And I'll leave it in my description bar. You're welcome. Tonight you can call me all night long. Tonight I represent the guy with the money who live fast, but still, baby, don't die young. So tonight just go all the way with me. All the way with me Tonight just go all the way with me All the way with me Tonight just go all the way with me All the way with me Tonight just go all the way with me All the way with me But tonight you can't call my phone Tonight you can't call me all night long Tonight I represent the guy with the money now I'm going to be lining my waterline with my Max Fluid Line Pencil in Black Brilliant and I'm just going to be using the colour I used on my crease and my mobile lid for my lower lash line and I'm just going to be applying mascara afterwards. No biggie. And to set my whole face, I'm using my Max MSF's powder in Dark Deep. This powder is amazing as well. And I'm just going to be using the same powder with an angled brush just to get rid of that halo thingy above my brows and then I'm going to be using my Urban Decay's All Nighter I think just to set my face before I move on to bronzer okay no before I move on to mascara <laughs> I'm also going to be reverse contouring because the first time I did it I did not see an effect so I'm doing it again and then I'm bronzing off my face with my Cover Girls Cream Bronzer in Ebony Bronze this shit is amazing and I'm going to use that on my nose as well with a fluffy brush. And for blush, I'm using the Sleek Sugar Palette. And I'm not sure of the name of this particular blush. But I'll leave it in my description bar. And I'm getting rid of the baking underneath my contour. Now, moving to highlights. I'm using this highlighter from Makeup Forever. And it is their Sculpting Duo. And I like this highlighter for this look because it has a pink undertone to it. Moving to my lips, I'm just going to be lining my lips with a random brown lip liner no biggie and then for lipstick i'm using a milani's lipstick i'll leave the name in my description bar as well and after that i'm going to be using a lip glass by mac in the name see through and i'm going to be spraying my face again but this time with my victoria's secret make a last and set makeup spray just for extra dewiness and that concludes the look i hope you guys really liked this video and follow me on my social media everything will be linked in my description bar i love you guys so much and thank you for watching all the way with me all the way with me I'm not